Hey, I got something for you guys. The Detroit Pistons lose their six straight game to the Boston Celtics at home at Little Caesars Arena. This is Detroit Sports World. My name is Maurice Lewis. They lost this game 91 to 81. I can't voice my frustrations as much as I already do. You guys already know how I feel about this. I mean, it's crazy. Um, the Pistons can't score. The Pistons can't keep up with other teams. They go through this huge time frame of not being able to score. I mean, what happened to the first eight games, the first 10 games, till now, I mean, you're struggling. You're struggling on both ends on the floor. You're struggling on offense. You're struggling on defense. This is crazy. This is crazy. But credit to, to the uh, Boston Celtics. Um, they all work together. Um, I'm, I'm glad to see Baines come out and do work. Uh, I mean, he had a comparable game to Andre Drummond. He had like six points, 13 rebounds. So, you know, he did his thing, especially with his basic 15-footers. Um, Avery Bradley kept Irving in check. Irving only had 16 points. You know, that was good there. Why couldn't we take care of everything else? But, unfortunately, Al Horford had his way. And, you know, Al Horford, I believe he had like 18 points. Al Horford stretches the floor, and he has an inside game. And we could not stop that. We couldn't stop that man. As for Tatum who might win Rookie of the Year. He's leading the league as a rookie in three-point percentage. And we couldn't stop him with with the Boston, um, you know, with their good ball rotation. Tatum was money, along with Brown. But Marcus Smart came off the bench and had, like, 12 points. The only, I mean, man, I, I, why can't we be, like, we got to, in order to be, in, in order to be a great team, we have to beat the best. And it's just not showing anymore. We're struggling against weak teams. And now we're struggling against the, the teams to beat in the East. And that's the Boston Celtics and the Cavaliers and, and such and such teams like them. So out of this game, uh, Tobias Harris, he had 19 points. Drummond, 16 points, 15 rebounds. Smith comes off the bench and he, he is outplaying Reggie Jackson. Clearly, where was Reggie today? Reggie was 0 for 9 in field goal makes. 0 for 9. To the point where, you know what? Sam Van Gennie can't even put him in the on the floor in the, in the fourth quarter because you can't get anything out of him. Ish Smith is getting guys involved. In the third quarter, in the third quarter, the Pistons are down by double digits. And Ish Smith... And Stan Van Gundy, they bring the, the second unit in, and Ish Smith, Boban helped, and they helped the they helped the team bring back the Pistons in the single digits. And eventually, in the fourth quarter, the Pistons are right there. They're right there. And then next thing you know, there's a collapse on the P Pistons defense, big time collapse on the team, uh, the Pistons defense. It's it's crazy to me, but. I might have to blame this game on Stan Van Gundy because Reggie has been struggling. The Detroit Pistons have been struggling. And you really haven't been doing anything to mix up anything. Lou Kennard needs to get minutes. Why is Stanley Johnson still in the starting lineup? He only had five points today. Couldn't really do anything. He only had 15 minutes. You got to play Kennard. Kennard had like 24 minutes with like seven points. But even still, you got to put in guys like Henry Ellison. He could have guarded and stretched the floor in guarding Al Horford. That would have been a good matchup, but we won't be able to see that because Stan Van Gundy doesn't do it. And Boban is literally, and when we're struggling on offense, Boban needs to get minutes. Why is it that he only got five minutes today and he played good while he was in? Why? I don't get that. And that's why I have to blame this loss on Stan Van Gundy. You got to play and you got to take out people that are in the starting lineups. And you got to start playing people that deserve minutes. And something's got to happen, man. I mean, if if you look at the our division now, I mean, I hate to say it, 
But, hey, Cleveland's already passed us. Milwaukee's already passed us. The Pacers have already passed us. I mean, the Pistons are 14 and 11 as their record. So are the Pistons just a mediocre team? I don't believe that. But on paper, we are now. We're just a regular team in the NBA. So you heard it from me. My name is Maurice Lewis. You can follow me on all social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. Let me know what you think about this video. I'm out. Peace.